guys, the laundry room has exploded again. Anyone else's laundry just take over sometimes? Let's get in there and clean it up and get back on track because a little mess is no big deal when you've got a plan. Hey, welcome back. If you're new here, my name's Jen and I make homemaking videos. I am an imperfect homemaker living the small home life in the northernmost part of Maine. Welcome and I hope you enjoy the video. Why does this area continue to be a mess? Why? Because it's a flat surface. And yes, I have organized it and cleaned it many, many, many times, but it's still a flat surface. It's always going to be a flat surface and we're messy people. What can I say? I am not gonna bore you with every single detail of how I clean the top of my washer and wipe my washer down. You know the drill. I'm going to get rid of everything that don't belong up here. Some things are going to get put where they go. It's going to get wiped down and things are going to get put back where they go. And I'm going to get a little bit of laundry done. But I got more important things to talk with you about today. So in just a few, we'll get right to that. You know, as I'm cleaning this laundry area and doing laundry, it's a reminder that taking care of our homes is a form of self-love too. It might seem like just another chore, but it's really about creating a space that feels good for us to live in. And sometimes it's also about taking a break in the middle of it all because we just can't pour from an empty cup. Whether it's folding clothes or just sitting with a cup of tea, make sure that today you're showing yourself a little love today too. I just want to take a moment to thank you all. You guys are the reason I keep sharing these videos. You inspire me with your support, your comments, and the fact that we're all in this together. You're not just viewers, you're part of this community, part of my family, you're my friends. I love how we can share real life, the mess, the ups, the downs, and keep encouraging each other. You're all so special to me and I am grateful you're here. I have to tell you all, today was simply the best day. I was blessed with visits from two of my grandchildren and it was everything I needed. They played with toys, had snacks, gave me the sweetest hugs and filled my day with smiles. It's moments like these that make life feel perfect. Sometimes self-love is found in the people you surround yourself with. The ones who choose to be a part of your life every day or well, most every day. For me, that's my grandchildren, my family, and all of you who join me on this journey. You are all such an important part of what makes my days brighter and fills it with happiness. You know, sometimes the best moments aren't big or flashy. They're in the small, simple joys that we can find in everyday life. Simple joys we can find like that first sip of morning coffee, the crisp air of a perfect fall day, or just taking a moment to sit in the quiet and breathe. These little things have the way of grounding us, reminding us that peace and happiness can be found in the simplest of moments. It's so important to slow down and really soak in those things 
Whether it's the smell of fresh laundry or the warmth of a cozy blanket, because those are the moments that fill our hearts and make life sweeter. Some of those simple joys can be found in the work we do as homemakers, whether it's feeding our families, washing clothes, or answering a child's question for the hundredth time in a single moment. These tasks are part of something bigger. It's easy to lose sight of it, but the work we get to do for our loved ones and for ourselves is truly a blessing. We're the keepers of the home, the glue that holds everything together. Every meal we make, every load of laundry we fold, and every small act of care is a way of nurturing the ones we love and ourselves. It's in these everyday tasks that we find meaning and purpose. While it may seem repetitive or exhausting at times, and Lord knows it does, the work that we do helps create a safe and loving environment for not only our families but ourselves. Every meal we cook, every piece of laundry we wash, every small act of love adds up to something bigger, making our homes a place of comfort and care. We might not always get praise or recognition, but the impact that we have is felt every day. It's important to remember that this work is a form of love both for others and for ourselves. But you know, sometimes we don't hear the things we truly need to hear. We get so caught up in the busyness of life, the endless to-do lists, and it's easy to forget that we too need affirmation. Things like you are loved, you are so very important, you are enough just as you are in this very moment. Those are words that we all need, but sometimes no one says them. So if you haven't heard it today, let me be the one to tell you I love you. You are doing a wonderful job, whether your day has been productive or not, whether everything is in its place or still a work in progress, you are enough. You don't need to be more, to do more, or to fix more to be worthy. Just as you are right now, right here, you are enough. Sometimes we need to remind ourselves of this, especially when the weight of life feels heavy. The work we do, whether it's caring for our families, keeping our homes, or simply just making it through the day is important, but it doesn't have to define our value. You are worthy of love and care simply because you exist. So please take a moment today to breathe that in, to believe it, and know that you are seen and appreciated. You matter and that you are enough just as you are. You might be wondering why I'm telling you all this in the middle of a laundry area cleanup video or while I'm folding clothes. Why now? Why today? Because self-love and feeling loved are two of the most essential, most basic human needs. And I want everyone who watches my channel to know that I'm the real deal. I genuinely care about the people who take the time to be here. I want to make a positive impact on your life. To let you know that you're not alone, because I'm here. I want to be a friend that you've been searching for. The shoulder that you can lean on. The rock when you need strength. I'll be your biggest cheerleader, your best friend. Because that's what all of you have become to me. And I could never ask for anything more. When I see you reach out and share that you've had a hard day, my heart aches for you. When I hear that you've had a moment of joy, my heart leaps right along with yours. You've all touched my life in ways I could have never, ever imagined, and I'm so very grateful. My way of giving back is to always remind you that you are loved, that you are enough, and if you ever need me, I'm here. This isn't just for show, and it's not a gimmick, it's real. You've given me so much, and the least I can do is be that steady, loving presence for you, just as you've been for me. 
When I first started this channel, a few people I know got a good chuckle out of it. Who's gonna watch you clean your house, they'd ask. Why would anybody bother? It's just the mundane stuff of daily life. And honestly, had I listened to them, I wouldn't know any of you. I wouldn't have this incredible community of people who come to visit me, who share this common journey of homemaking, who remind me daily of just how special this space is. The other day while I was filming the first video in my series, something clicked. I realized that I wasn't just talking to my camera anymore. I was talking to Beth, Jennifer, Deborah, Colleen, Valerie, Barbara, Kelly, Heather, Susie, Ella, Carol, Judith, Cynthia, Carolyn, Becky, and the list of people of beautiful souls goes on and on and on. Each of you brings something unique and wonderful to this space, and it hit me just how blessed I truly am. Had I listened to the doubts, I wouldn't have known the joy of connecting with all of you. You've become such a meaningful part of my life, and I am beyond grateful for this community that we've built together. Thank you all so much for spending time with me today. Whether you are cleaning along with me or just taking a moment to watch, I'm so grateful to have you here. Every time I post, I'm reminded how lucky I am to be a part of this wonderful community. You all bring so much light into my life and I hope that in some small way, my videos bring a little light to yours too. Remember, no matter how your day is going or what your home looks like, you are doing an amazing job. The work we do may seem small or mundane at times, but it's the heart of what makes our homes feel like home. And if no one's told you today, I want you to hear it out loud and clear. You are loved and you are appreciated and you are more than enough just as you are. Don't forget to take the time for yourself, find those little moments of joy, and remember that it's okay to take things one step at a time. I'm always here for you whether you need a friend, some motivation, 
or just a little reminder that you are not alone in this journey. You all mean the world to me, and I'm so thankful to be able to share this space with you. Until next time, take care of yourselves, take care of your home, and as always, happy cleaning.